The river is the seminal feature in the valleys of Assam, as it figures significantly in the Earth's landscape throughout human history. Rivers have shaped civilizations and sustained lifestyles in this world. It is also pervasively present in living that its magic which spells life is hardly, if ever, pondered on. Their flow, however, is inexorable. Even though all rivers do not necessarily make it to the sea. The bonding of man and the river, especially the Brahmaputra or the Burhaluit, is witnessed by the grand old man of the missing community, Kurak Pegu, who has lost the count of his years but thinks he has crossed five scores of them. <laughs> Living with the river remains the core of the understanding for his community. Their islands or tapus as they call them, of sustenance, grow, increase in stature or height, or may recede to nothingness at the mercy of the swirling waters around and the always unsparing storms. <laughs> Sick or old buffaloes are not always able to tie the cross. But are never left stranded, for Kurak Pegu's community makes Noah's Ark caringly abiding. Do you want to go to the 
তেল নাই নেকি তেল আছে It is anxious, but no real cause for tension for the grand old man and his people. Their rudders in life and concerns are steady as grass and fodder is ensured at all costs and the symbiotic meanings take over routinely. Concerned for the cattle and his attachment to these animals is so passionate that he once swam miles with a herd in the swirling river. He and the others living with this river know to respect and adore the power that the river carries with it. The old man believes that nothing on earth can dominate the raw power of this river. Sarin 
Agora já pode ajudar. Ele pode botar e não é quando ele já pode ir ali. Vale. Doquim sai do. Doquim sai do. Então, um ar por lá. Doquim sai do mané, nem mati. Nem mati, mas já pode. Este é o ano por um rico. Ar por lá, por lá, por lá, ele já pode ir para um dia. Você vai para o fogo, aí ele vai. Amar por lá, por lá. Vai estar em casa. Ele já pode ir para o gol, amar, dormir já pode ir assim. Está até assim, não. Não é só o gol, não. Muro gordo não é, sabe aí, não é? Com essa zona ele está gordo para ele. Muito bem, compô. Já pode ir. Está por aí, tem que ir para o gol, mas ele vai. Kami sangat senang bersama jelah hisyalah. Tetapi sahaja tenaga nak tak kilo ya. Ia dua-dua nampak orang ni kurang bermain. Kami mana nasi mana kami pasbar sebab mana ni kerja belak belak korang suar. Belak mana kami bawa naik sebab hangis sebab bawa naik sebab hangis sebab tenaga. Life flows on inexorably, like the river and the raging floods witnessed by the tiny hamlet of Sumoy Mari in the river island Majuli. Here, nature provides all that is necessary to sustain their life. The ferry takes all of two hours and more to reach Majuli, arguably the biggest freshwater island in the world. The chug chug of the ferry is somehow drowned and the lapping waters take over as ease and serenity descend on the passengers as the island looms closer. For Josna, the second daughter of the grand old man, it is another homecoming. The scenic and soothing landscape of her home makes her forget the din and bustle of city life. A small ritual of Kumari Puja is on at home. A religious ritual to do with girls coming of age. The rites are performed by a dairy or the holy man a little away from the house at the bank of the river. It seems that this ritual is offered to Lord Brahmaputra and only unmarried girls have the right of entry here. Having observed the river from his childhood, the old man always wonders if the river is going to inundate his home next time. The face of the river does not remain the same throughout the year. The vast expanse of flowing water vanishes like magic as winter approaches. The construction of the new house for the kitchen come living room is on and the family gathers to discuss different issues and some of the defects of the main house built earlier. No, rok kamu eh, hafta eh, hafta am dah orang mana run. Barai kerem ini rut tu no to, uga kerem. No kakak pun saya ambil mana yang pemula. Traditionally, missing society still persists in large family attachments, and that surely contributes to their family's economic security in the midst of their semi-nomadic subsistence.
Perhaps the missing community is still able to maintain this lifestyle in this age of globalization because their requirements are minimal and basic. Making of snacks from the newly harvested rice and cereals signifies the beginning of Aliyai Legang, a festival performed after harvesting the winter crop. Drinking of exclusive rice beer and swaying dances to the rhythms of drums take the center stage. Young and old alike dance and inebriation is taken in their strong. The hot and dry patch of summer will soon welcome the monsoon and before the first shower of rain wets the parched earth, it is time for weeding before the next crop. It is about this time that airborne viruses assail and other diseases spread and often take on an epidemic scale. The missing people believe that it is the evil spirit that descends over their lives. Thus, they take refuge in their traditional belief in chasing the evil spirit away from the bounds of their villages. They gather to celebrate Dobur Puja and the villagers go around the houses beating the walls and platforms. They believe the evil spirit is chased away. They collect contributions in kinds like items for the community feast the family of Kurak Pegu contributes accordingly. And then the entire menfolk gather at some secluded spot at the bank of the river to perform the rituals. This is sternly a reclusive ritual and no outsiders are welcome here. And so, there were no exclusive visuals of this ritual available till now. Mm. 
The ritual is simple and animistic in character. The offerings are made ranging from betel nut, eggs to birds and pigs etc. Preparation of exclusive missing rice beer like pour apong is an essential part of any missing ritual or celebration. Sacrifice of roosters and pigs is central to this ritual and Mibu or the holy man studies different signs and positions of the sacrificed birds or animals to foresee any ominous signal that might hover over the village and its inhabitants and for possible remedies. The feast follows the rituals with specially prepared food and lot of wild herbs in it. As the Grand Ole River flows quietly, the people of the Sumoimari village remain busy with their celebration. The clouds gather over the region and monsoon is more than a month away. The dark clouds descend over Brahmaputra, becoming heavy with water vapor. Rain batters the Brahmaputra Valley. Thunderstorms are routine in early April, but the incessant rain that followed in 2010, May-June, was exceptional. The river swelled and water became turbulent. The Brahmaputra turned into a sea, almost boundless. Only some higher grounds in the midst of the river were visible. This was one of the highest stretches of land where the buffaloes took shelter about 25 days back and fodder grass got drastically reduced. Buffaloes cannot survive with cows on the meager share of scanty grass crop. The buffaloes need taller grasses in abundance. So time has come to take them to still higher islands across the river through this dangerous water current which is often treacherous. The shepherds drive them to go into the river to swim across to a new island around four kilometers further downstream. Josna looked concerned with the river in spate as there were a few older buffaloes and some newborn calves in the herd. The buffaloes got divided in groups and some of them started to swim in all directions. The boatmen and the shepherds had to monitor and struggle hard to bring the buffaloes under control and guide them safely.
After nearly one and a half hour of the trying struggle, the team of Leela Pegu could bring the buffalo herd to the pre-selected island further south downstream. The vast stretch of grassland makes it a suitable home for the more than 100 strong buffalo herd at least for another two to three weeks. This cute little calf, born only four days back, could not keep up with the elder members of the herd. So she had to be carried delicately on the boat and this has turned to be a regular feature that these men trustfully carry out. Some of the physically weak older members of the herd get tired and exhausted after such a horrendous struggle. As they reach the destination, the men, without losing much time, start to prepare for their stay and look after the buffaloes. All the necessary things are carried by the men in their boats for their food and shelter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
As the men settle down in their new home and the buffaloes graze in the wilderness of the island, the sun slowly sets, allowing darkness to hover over the island. The Brahmaputra is in spate. It is the month of August and ceaseless rain engulfs the whole valley. The water level of the river is rising fast, inundating its banks and submerging everything on its way. The water dashes and cuts through river banks erodes soil uprooting trees, smashes the porcupines constructed for protection against erosion, leaving man helpless against the fury of nature. Everybody, <laughs> In fact, the departments of Flood Control and Brahmaputra Board of both state and central government respectively have been building such embankments, dikes and check dams since 1950s, but without any enduring results. With rampant corruption and criminal negligence of these departments, the people are left to the mercy of nature.
বহুত কষ্ট আছে সম্পত্তি পোহাতো আর পানি নহলে একু নাই পানি হলে তো আর বহুত শাস্তি আছে আমি তিন বছরমান পানি কম হয়ে আসলে অল্প আরামত আসিল সম্পত্তি পুহি তিন বছর অল্প ভাল লাগিছিল এই বছর দেখি এই বছর কষ্ট হয়েছে এখানে আগত তো দশ বারো বছর মূরে মূরে বড় ডর পানি আহে প্রকৃতির নিয়ম হয়ে পড়েছে আর পঞ্চাশ চনত আমি জন্ম হওয়া নাই যদিও শুনবল পাইছো ডর ভূমিকম্প হল আকো বাষষ্ঠি চনত ডর বানপানী হয়েছে পিছত চৌসত্তর চনত আমি আমি অল্প হেরি বুঝি পাইছো আর চৌসত্তর চনত আক ডর বানপানী হল চৌসত্তর পিছত কেবছরমান থাকি ঠিক বারো তেরো বছরমান থাকি আকো এইটটি সেভেনত এইটটি সেভেনত ডর আর এইটটি সেভেন এইটটি এইটত লেটারিকে দুটা বছর ডর পানি হল তারপিছত হল নাইনটি এইটত আমি তেনেকে অংশগ্রহণ করে আসো আমার যে প্রকৃতি দশ বারো বছর মূরে মূরে তে প্রলয়টা আহে হয় ভূমিকম্প নহয় ডর পানি আমি এনেকে চাকরি থাকি বা সম্পত্তি পুহি আমি তেনেকে পাইছো দশ বারো বছর মূরে মূরে বানপানী বা কিনা এটা তেনেকে আহে সে আমি এই অংক করো আজি দশ বছর হল বারো বছর হল নিশ্চয় কিনা এটা হব আমি সম্পত্তি কেটামান বেঁচো তেতিয়া বুড়া বুড়ি তে গরু মবু সব বেছি ল As the water recedes, the old man had to come and visit the island to have a glimpse of his cattle once. His old age does not deter him from coming here. The affection for the animals attracts him time and again to be nearer to them all the while. প্রাকৃতিক নহয় মানুষ জনসংখ্যা বৃদ্ধি পাইছে মানুষ জনসংখ্যা বৃদ্ধি পোর চাপরি অল্প ডবলকে পাতিলেই চাপরিবিল খেতে করবেন চাপরি তো অল্প ডবল হলেই তাদের খেতে করবল মানুষে ধরে আর তাতে জুই লগাই দিয়ে চাপরি দংশ করে দিয়ে খেতে করে এনেক দংশ পথলে গেছে চাপরিব সকাল মতন পঞ্চাশ সনের আগরপরাই চাপরিবিল গছ 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 কমিছে বলে কমা না পানি আইব আইছিল
पानी हुट तो काटी दिए तब पर एकदम पानी बोया है ऐने के ना पानी ये काटे तब पर एकदम पानी बो एकदम हैवी डेगी हुटे हुए तब पर उलाय है पानी बो वंगा पानी जैसे आली पोतुली नासिले माजुली जैसे जैसे वंगा पानी लुहितो पाए ही उलाय जाए जैसे अलग जुए पानी तो आए यहाँ पर पानी दाव तो इपाले हुमाय जावो नुआ बे पानी दाव तो इपाले बाहिर वाले तेली दिए कने कोहनिया नासिले तेतिया जैसे आली पोतुली ये नी बेसी होल तेतिया पर कोहाई से बुलिया मी पंडित को बेसु मोटावली तो मोटावली ऐसे ही बनाई से ऐसे भाल बेहत से सिरी पुआई ना होल लेकिन शुद्ध देखो मोटावली रखी रखी बनोरा ऐसे � सौ पागुन सौतों पर जेतिया धारा हाय बहुहुन होल तेतिया आमी बाबी सो एवा घाह घाह उठी बो नुआई बो घाह के ने के उठे आमी जानू जे घाह तो हो बहुहुन एक साथ दीपे लाई कुप रोट दीपो के लाई बो माती तो गर्म हो बो लाई बो तेतिया कोहुआ घाह तो कुप उठे बहुहुन दीपे लाई रोट दिले माती तो गर्म होले घाह तो कुप तेरा गुटे कोहुआ बुद्ध दुबी गोल पुली ते दुबी गोल जेली गोल एक अने घाटो ये बार बहुत आगोर बारे तो बहुत ही कम होल इतना तो हमार पाय हॉमन मोहा से हॉमो है ये बु सापुई तो कुप बीस दिन बा पौसी दिने साले सापुई बु हो बु वो ये तो हैक हुआ किसी ना कोई ना कुन सापुई ले गायबी साई निभो लगी बु � कुन नाउले गुट्टे सापोई भी बोगा मी साई तो कुन तो सापोई आता है कोई उको सापोई आ कुन तो बहुल सापोई अब अमी बारी हाथ कुन तो सापोई तो रामा हम पोटी बिलाको निरापोट होगो ये बो अमी आगो त्याग के साई तो आ साई तो आ पिसोर अमी कितिया बार उपजुक्तो जगह ले निभो नुआ मो पानी बो बेसी होले तेतिया � एक बार तो आमी ये पानी तो मोटो तो यार आनी सिलू है त्या आपको टा साये पाँच दिन बीतो जाए पानी आये गोल पानी आये या तो दुपट मानो या तो दुपट मान पानी होय गोल त्या आपको मोहु ये टाइम उठे मोप वाली जगे ये जट मो है त्या पानी त्या मैं जोनी मो जट मो दिला अब तातो ये नाउलो उठाए लोगे लोगे नाउलो � ना रोटाय पहला ताते माँ के अलाव अभी आप दर कोई जा चले कि ताते ही वो गुसाई से माँ के तो ने के आपको पीसना पानी कौन हुका लेगे बुली है गाकी साकी कुआं वो पाय लेगे The lives on the tapus are different. Their time is set by the sun rising and setting. Surreal in our days of modern technology. For them, the river is the only communication and the boats are the only means. They have stories of encountering wild elephants, wild buffaloes and even rhinos in this wilderness. Sometimes, tigers do appear and kill some buffalo calves and the weaker animals. The old man says that he has started accepting this as a natural act, for he knows that grief is real but you must not always sadden. You know, all my pain, eh? Katie, I don't know how to do it. How do I do it? But we know why to do it. But we know how to do it. The heavy rain of 2010 has inundated areas bounded by the dams and the result is the watery grave for even the deep water paddy crop. This year, after a good harvest of winter crop, 
the deep water crop has grown well as rains were not prohibitively prodigal. The old man has all the knowledge and wisdom of the tradition and yet today he fails to understand the changing character of the river and the climate. What has become difficult for the old man Kurak is his inability to conform with the gross unpredictability of the rainfall pattern. Yet, like the other members of his community, he is undaunted by the flood and is not apprehensive of the rising water level. His Noah's Ark will prevail and persist. <laughs> He will always avail the first opportunity to visit the herds and see for himself how the animals are doing. His affinity to his cattle herds is equally important as his affinity to his family. Maybe the harsh life of living with the river has taught him to be wiser and compassionate to all being around him. Perhaps the old river has helped the old man to widen his horizon and strengthen his belief and goodness in the river itself. For the Brahmaputra rolls on and on, like life and hope.